Hi, my name is Thomas Wilson and I'm the creative director on The Amazing Spider-Man 2 The Video Game. Welcome to this walkthrough video. So let's jump off this building as we'd like to show you our new updated city and also some of our new key features including this new opus. You can notice right away that the web swing mechanic feels different. Spidey's webbings now connects with buildings and objects in the environment rather than attaching to invisible points in midair. To do so, we've mapped both arms to the left and right triggers respectively. So the idea is simple. If there's a building to the left, well then it's better to use the left trigger. And if there's one to the right, then it's better to use the right trigger. And if there's no building around or nothing to attach to, well, you'll fall. We've added some great additions to this mechanic like swing boosts, catapults, horizontal wall running, and more that you'll be able to unlock through the game. This totally redefines the way you'll be roaming around the city as you feel much more connected to Spidey's unique ability. And of course, the web rush mechanic is back. For those who haven't played the first game, this mechanic gives you a lot more precision when you free roam around the city by letting you decide precisely where you want to go. Okay now, let's open up our in-game cell phone. This is a great tool by the way. It helps you track all the activities that are happening at the moment in our city. Depending on if you decide to complete those activities or not, law enforcement will actually react and evolve differently. This is part of our new hero or menace system that will affect your reputation throughout the game. Our smartphone is also there to help you organizing important information and granting access to new upgrades and abilities. We'll let you discover that by yourselves, as I would like to show you some of the new elements brought in this game. To show you these features, let's hop on the train and go to Enby's house. We wanted to get a little more personal with the story this time around. After all, Spider-Man is only one side of a character, right? In response to a number of fans' requests, we're giving his other half, Peter Parker, his own separate role in the game. So here, we're in your bedroom, where you'll be able to access a lot of options. Uh, you can replay missions, you can buy upgrades, etc. But one cool thing that we really wanted to add is the ultimate ward world, with a wide variety of suits that you'll be able to pick in the game. Each suit will have different stats and bonuses attached to it, allowing you to choose which one fits best your playstyle. So for this walkthrough, let's head to a more stealthy mission outside the city. One big difference in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is the way we approach the mission design. Rather than go through linear levels like we did in the previous games, this time around we created open areas for you to explore. It's up to you to decide how the level will be approached. In this case, the objective is to infiltrate the building's basement and track down the boss hidden inside. But before going in, we should take down some of the snipers that are scanning the area. So let's hop on that beam and jump on that ledge. And take down the guard from a distance. Oh, and by the way, let's do one of my favorites. Spidey can now repel and perform some amazing inverted takedowns anywhere, anytime. Really useful. Let's use our spider sense to scan the area and track down our prey. This will help us establish our strategy. Now here's an armored guard. You can either take him down with a stealth attack or by using the Ionic upgrade applied to your webs. The Ionic webbing allows you to break down their armor, otherwise you won't be able to hurt them. But let's keep a stealthy approach for now. Always love this move. We've also upped Spidey's prowess in up close and personal combat. We did a lot of improvements by improving our combo system, we've included dodges and rolls, we've added critical strikes, wet upgrades, and finishing moves. Here's one of the new classes of enemies that we've added in this game. You see that they move really fast and can be very deadly, so you must think on your toes to stay alive.
Okay, now that I've cleared out the room, it's time for us to face one of the key nemesis included in this game, the Kingpin himself. But hey, that battle is for another day. So thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to show you more of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 the video game. Stay tuned.